Welcome back to Local Beats. I'm here with Main Street Acapella. I'm here with Zoe and Sarah. How you doing, guys? Good, how are you? Good. I'm not too bad. So tell me a little about this group. Um, so Main Street has been on CSU's campus for about three years now. We both auditioned for the group uh, right before the end of our, well, my freshman year, her sophomore year. And then we've been members ever since. Um, it's really fun. It's a totally student-led and organized acapella group. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we, everybody in the group comes from a bunch of different backgrounds. Uh, we barely have any music majors, which is cool because the group is super eclectic and we have a bunch of different music tastes and just a bunch of different musical influences. Cool. So what are both of your majors? So I'm natural resource recreation and tourism. Wow. Yeah. And, and I'm a business major with a focus in marketing. Wow. So anyone can join, really? Yeah, yes. absolutely anyone. Wow. Uh, we cool. even we do allow non-CSU students to be members, but you have to be a CSU student to hold an officer position within the group. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And so how did you both start singing? Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, <first. laughs> okay. um, I always loved to sing growing up, but my freshman year of high school, I took a class called um, like just like class voice and so it taught you the basics of singing and uh, it was really great and like taught me a lot of fundamentals and techniques and it really helped me find some like confidence in singing and then so after that uh, that was like the spring of my high school freshman year then I joined the women's choir then I did two years of show choir in high school as well um, and I was also involved in like an extracurricular world choir that sung international music and had like everybody from like kindergartners to um, like grandparents and things. So that was really fun. Um, I went to the Colorado All-State Women's Choir in my senior year, which was really cool. And then when I got to CSU, um, my first semester I wasn't involved in singing at all and I really missed it. <laughs> but uh, so my spring of my freshman year of college, I got involved with the University Chorus, which is a course that anybody can register for and take, and it's just like a community choir at CSU. Wow, so, so you've had quite a background. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, what about you, Zoe? So I remember I was in fourth grade, and we were having a Christmas concert, <laughs> and basically all the girls auditioned for this solo, and my best friend and I ended up getting it, and I thought to myself, like, oh, I guess I can sing. So <laughs> it kind of all started there, and I learned guitar at a really early age, and I kind of always just accompanied myself. <laughs> um, and then, like Sarah said, just the more that I did, the more choirs I was in, the more my confidence grew. And this group has made my confidence just soar so much more. Because singing is so much about just believing in yourself and yeah, believing really that you is. can sing. And actually, I was in university chorus too here. Oh. Um, we were in it during the same time. Yeah. And Seth, the founder of this group, announced that they were having auditions for, at that time, it was Moonlight Acapella. And so I auditioned oh. then. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like what kind of genre of music do you guys sing or is it kind of all around? So <laughs> we do a lot of like contemporary favorites, uh, so a lot of more modern music, but um, this y semester for our like final end of the semester showcase, our theme is actually going to be through the decades. So we're singing mm -hmm. um, like two or three songs from every decade from the 60s until now. So oh, it should be really cool. Lots uh, of pop stuff. Lots of pop. We, awesome. we occasionally do some more like indie music. Um, sometimes we do a lot of like arrangements that already exist. Uh, we'll look for sheet music just because it's easier and we can get started learning the music a lot faster that way. But we do also let our members compose music sometimes. And so sometimes if they want to arrange a certain piece, we'll do it just because it's like a passion project for them. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. really cool. So what are some of your past competitions or performances? Have you had like any kind of memorable ones? So what I think of is um, there's a festival called Acapella, and it's <laughs> this will be the second year, and we are going to be going to it. Awesome. And it's not a competition; it's more just a festival, bringing together a bunch of different Colorado college acapella groups. Mm -hmm. um, there aren't really any competitions that we <laughs> partake in. There used to be, but it's yeah. it doesn't go on anymore. Yeah, Colorado is not a big place for like the acapella scene if there is one but <laughs> um, but it's really there's not a ton of competitions we haven't been able to find any in the it, since we joined the group I believe when the group was still moonlight they did one competition that has since just like disappeared yeah and so um, we're looking uh, we might <laughs> in the future we're both graduating in May so we probably won't be with the group a ton longer but we're hoping in the future they'll be able to maybe you know do some fundraising and like travel to competitions in other states cool. yeah. yeah yeah a lot of fundraising that could be cool mm -hmm. um, uh, you guys said you're having a um, 
performance, I'm sorry, <laughs> some auditions yes. coming up? Yes, yes. so this Friday um, at 4 p.m. in BSB room 105, we're having auditions for anybody who would like to come and try out. Uh, all you need to do is prepare about 30 seconds to a minute of a solo, and then we'll do some vocal exercises with you after that. Cool. So come so, out and audition. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just personally, what, what do you think is your favorite part about acapella? That's <laughs> Tough that, question there's on the spot. so much that I love about it. Um, <laughs> my favorite part, it's just, it's my musical outlet. Anyone who has a passion, especially when it comes to music, knows that if you're not doing it, mm -hmm. then you're not going to be happy. So yeah. it's, it's just my, it's, everything about it is wonderful. I, and really, I just, I love the people. And I love making music with all making my friends. friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. there's like, there's almost no other bond, like the bond you form with people you sing with, because it's a really like personal thing to share. So yeah. the whole group gets like weirdly close sometimes, <laughs> but it's really fun. <laughs> um, and like Zoe said, if you know, once people discover that passion for music, you're really not happy unless you have an outlet for it. And they, when you're performing, there's just this feeling like none other, and it's yeah. really cool. Awesome. Totally. All right, and one last question: What's what's your favorite song to sing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> with, with, the, with the group or in general? Either way. Oh, uh, I really, really love Belting Your Love Is My Drug by Kesha. <laughs> like, pretty much any time. Good song. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to, just because that's such a huge thing to choose from, I'm going to say my favorite song that we've sang as a group is... I like singing Mirrors by Justin Timberlake, oh. but when you have a solo, you're gonna like you're gonna yeah, like that song. One of my favorite group songs was uh, something to talk about that we're actually gonna sing for you here. That's in a one bit. of my favorites too. It's so fun, so much energy. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, this is Main Street Acapella with Zoe and Sarah, and uh, we will be right back. <laughs> 